Welcome again, everybody, with a basic and important case. This would be very useful for junior audience, but I think seniors should pay attention as well, uh, since this is occasionally missed, if not uh, kept in mind when looking at chess CTs. To keep everybody oriented, this is a CT scan of the chest without intravenous contrast uh, in a patient who is about 88 years old. Now, what you're looking at is a patient lying on the CT scan. You're looking from his feet. This is anterior, this is posterior, this is right, and this is left. Now, let's look at this together. What you're looking at is the heart with its four chambers. The heart looks like a soft tissue lump where you cannot differentiate between muscle and cavity without giving contrast. If this were a study with contrast, you would see enhancing cavities and soft tissue muscle, but this is not the case here. The striking abnormality is a large area of linear low density that you see within the inner aspect of the muscle, the myocardium. And uh, in Cardiology terminology, this here is called the subendocardial area, the inner area. There's another area that's similar here and along what is expected to be the interventricular septum. Now the density is low, but is not as low as air. It's very similar to the density of the pericardiac fat that you see here or the subcutaneous fat. So these areas are subendocardial areas of fat deposition. There are several reasons to have fat within the myocardium, but the most common and most practical reason to remember is that of an old myocardial infarction. And this location here in the inner muscle is very classic. So subendocardial fatty metaplasia is very classic for an old myocardial infarction. Although this is a large area that is difficult to miss, some trainee might miss this. The reason is, uh, if you're practicing radiology, you'll notice many radiologists going quickly over the cardiac structures, especially if the case is done without contrast. So that's something to keep in mind. Remember that this could be even more difficult if the area of involvement was small. You'll notice that you have these high density structures here. They're linear and they follow the course of the coronary arteries. So this is your left main coronary artery. This is one of the coronary arteries that's called the left anterior descending. Here's the uh, left circumflex and here's the right coronary artery. All those uh, vessels are involved by extensive uh, calcific changes, which actually fits with what we're suspecting here as being uh, a resultant old myocardial infarction. For juniors, remember that calcium appears very bright in a similar fashion to bone. And that's a basic rule that you could apply to CT or X-rays. So calcium and bone are bright. I'm sure some of you are thinking that in a patient who has myocardial infarction, it might not be very significant to report it on a CT scan since an MI is typically an event that's documented clinically. Uh, it's not common for a patient to come to the scanner without knowing that he had an old MI. However, this becomes very important in a very specific clinical scenario. There is no doubt that detecting such an abnormality has a prognostic value. Now, the group of patients where MI could go unnoticed, remember, silent MI, could happen in diabetic patients. And if you're looking at a population where diabetes is common, this becomes an important incidental finding to report on a CT scan of the chest. I'll summarize the findings, but uh, there's a challenge at the end of the case, so uh, keep watching after the summary, please. Especially for seniors, the radiology residents, and people who'd like a challenge. We understand that without IV contrast, you cannot differentiate between uh, blood pool in the cavity and the myocardium. However, we also understand that looking at the cardiac structures, even on a CT scan of the chest without contrast, 
should be always performed. We also know that fat has a low density, similar to that of uh, fat elsewhere, and if it's seen in subendocardial areas, it is uh, usually consistent with an old myocardial infarction. This finding has prognostic implication and it's specifically important in patients who are diabetic who had a silent MI, so an MI without noticing that clinically before. Now here's the challenge on the same patient. So this is the lung window on the same patient. Images of the same case would be posted uh, as a quiz uh, at the Radiology Bits Twitter account, uh, the one that you see in front of you here. So if you haven't followed that account, it would be useful to follow that as well, since we uh, post uh, lots of information in different cases uh, there as well. By that, I thank you for watching. Uh, see you later with more cases.